Well, hello 3E and welcome to Incentives to Buy. Uh, our goal today, I know the kind of tactics businesses use to entice customers to buy their products. If you don't know what entice means, it means to um, try to persuade them in some way to buy the products that you're selling or to just in general to come shop at your store. Uh, so Incentives to Buy, there are many stores out there, businesses feel the need to compete for customers. Uh, some kinds of things stores will do to try and get you to shop there are as follows. Um, they'll offer Canadian Tire money. Obviously that's for Canadian Tire. Canadian Tire offers coupons that spend like currency in their store. They have a set formula for how the money is given depending on how much cash you spend. Uh, the Canadian Tire money isn't just a simple system of you spend um, five dollars and we give you two percent back in Canadian Tire money. Uh, they have a different sort of tiered system that if you spend between you know, zero and five dollars you get five cents back or something along those lines. Um, I'm gonna have you research that a little bit today uh, once you're done looking at what I've got to say. Uh, HBC stores offer a rewards program. Uh, the collection of HBC stores, which used to include Zellers, but Zellers isn't around anymore, uh, offer a rewards program. At one point in time, they had a catalog that you could choose rewards from, um, but now they offer cash, offer cash back in the form of gift cards. Uh, it's also a tiered system where points increase the more money you spend. So you have a card like this and your points accumulate on the card whenever you spend money. Um, and when I say a tiered system, it means that it jumps every once in a while. So you, you'll get so many points for the first uh, $100 you spend and then maybe so many points for the next $100 you spend or so on and so forth. I don't think it's $100, um, but you can maybe research that yourself as well. Um, Walmart Rewards MasterCard. You collect points when you use your MasterCard. Now usually these are also a tiered system where you're getting so many points and then you can re re um, get those points back uh, in the form of cash back. And coupons. Stores and, and even manufacturers will offer coupons that allow customers to save money on items. So this coupon here is one for KFC. Um, fast food restaurants give out a lot of uh, coupons like this. You might get them in the mail. Um, you might get them in the mail for uh, lots of different things. And what it does is when you take it in, um, you have to actually give them the paper coupon and then they will give you your meal um, or whatever is on the coupon for the price that's listed. Okay, now let's have a look at something that you could be asked to calculate for these things. Example number one, Bob's Hardware wishes to compete with Canadian Tire. So they issue Bob Bucks as store credit coupons. You receive 2.5% of your purchase prices before taxes. The smallest Bob Buck is five cents, so amounts will be rounded to the nearest five. So how many Bob Bucks will you receive if you bought a tent that was worth $189.99? Well, we get 2.5% of our purchase. So 2.5% of, in this case, our purchase is $189.99 in Bob Bucks. Okay, so 2.5% as a decimal is 0 0.025. Remember, of means multiply, and then we're going to go 189.99. And let's calculate that. 0 0.025 times 189.99. Now that comes out to be $4.75. Okay, uh, I'm going to take this 9 and round this one up and it's a 5. And that's kind of nice because their Bob Bucks come in $5 coupons, so or 5 cent coupons, so we have to round it to the nearest 5 cents anyway since this rounds to 5 cents. We don't have to do anything. Okay. Um, so we're going to get four dollars and seventy-five cents. Therefore, 
we receive 4 dollars and 75 cents in bob bucks Okay, next. The Shop and Save chain of stores offers a points card that can be redeemed for a gift card. You receive 20 points for every dollar you spend. How many points do you receive if you purchase a camera that cost $112.59 and a camera card worth $15.99? Okay, so we have to add these things up first. So, total... hundred and twelve dollars and fifty nine cents plus fifteen ninety nine so you have to total it up before you calculate your um, points now that turns out to be one twenty eight fifty eight and now you receive twenty points for every dollar you spend so the dollars we spend and they just um, when they do this kind of thing, they usually just take the cents off entirely. So we spent $128. So points are going to equal $128 times 20 because we get 20 points for every dollar we spend. So 128 times 20 is 2560 2,560 points. So you have to, you get a lot of points for your purchase, but you also have to have a lot of points to get anything. You need 100,000 points to receive a $25 gift card. How much do you need to spend before you get your card? Well, we know that we get 20 points for every dollar. So I need to take 100,000 and divide it by 20 to see how many points uh, or how many dollars I have to spend. So 100,000 divided by 20 is 5,000. We have to spend $5,000 before we receive any kind of gift card. So you have to spend a lot of money to get a lot of money. Now what you're going to be doing in your homework, and I've got your uh, questions right here, page 85 number 1 to 11, and then you're going to do the skills check. Now there are a few questions in here that are going to um, have a, a symbol for uh, the internet. So you'll see a little symbol beside it that says that you need to research it on the internet. Um, and there are links, and I've provided the link on my website. I'm going to pull this over though. Um, this goes along with your textbook, Nelson Education. Um, and so they've already put the links up. I've linked to uh, the page for buying decisions. Okay, because that's what we're on. We're on buying decisions. And if you look here, Chapter 5, Buying Decision, we're in 5.2 right now. So we've got these four questions that, um, question 6, 7, 8, and 11, that all have, tell you to research these types of things. Um, so here we have... Uh, Canadian Tire Money on the card and Air Miles, Shoppers Drug Mart Premium, all of these things that really do exist. These are links to the sites so you can read through them and see how they uh, how they work um, so you know what uh, what kind of incentives are really out there rather than just the examples that I was giving you from um, from made up situations. Okay, so for questions 6, 7, 9, and 11, you're going to need to link to this page, and the link is on my website um, in order to do these questions. Okay, and that completes this video.